Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing a bonus question on August 3rd of 2022. So let's get started. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let's hope I get a good RD and get it pretty quickly instead of usually subscribe. Oh, okay, good. First try. Anyway, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to see if I have an extra. Okay, no bonus coins today. Uh, anyway, today's problem is Spiral Matrix 3, a problem that I haven't seen before yet, or at least not on lead code. So, okay, you start at or start C start of rows and columns facing yeast. The northwest corner is the first one grid, and okay. You're walking as well. Okay, huh. Whenever you go, you contain the walk outside, but maybe turn later. Hmm. Hmm. So n is equal to 100, so we definitely. Um, the biggest it can be is maybe 400 by 400, which is, you know, small enough. Was it like 160,000 or something like this? Um, yeah, it should be okay, right? So we just have to brute force or, um, um, yeah, just brute force and then keeping track of it. Um, so, yeah. So let, let's create the, the answer matrix, um, which is going to be just say none times um i like using these as r and c but uh times c for do, 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 right? um and then here may there are a couple of ways i can think about doing it but but i guess when you go out bounds you can just keep on going you don't have to go all the way up but um okay that's probably fine too um but yeah total is you go to r times c and then now maybe i do you know accept the directions so oh i have to be careful so we have to want to go yeast so that's zero one then you go down so that's one zero um then left then right uh, up okay and then that's and then start x start y so I'm I'm gonna rename it because I don't know that's what I will and then now we go while total is greater than zero so we get it one space at a time and what we do now is uh, and it's okay to go out bounds once we go out bounds we change the direction hmm. okay well first we want to do answer of um, let's just say x, y, not this. I mean, it is going to be the start, but x, y is to go to. Um, oh, yeah. Maybe I should have done it the other way. So we start at count is, count is equal to zero, while count is less than, uh, let's just call it total, which is r times c. Okay. This is just simulation. That's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of doing it one by one. I think there are a couple of things we can do, but yeah. Okay. So, um, so here, how do we do it? Maybe I'm doing it in a weird way. So basically we're doing Mm, eh, how do I want to do it? I think I was thinking of something. I mean, it's still my simulation, but I have to think about it, how to do it in a good way. So then here, we want to go one, two, one, two, three. And one, one, two, one, two, three. Because we want to take two, two, two. And then next is three. Now next is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's kind of awkward because um, this is like the square. Well, this is the way that this happens. But hmm, let me think about this. I mean, it's simulation, but I'm just thinking about how to write the code in a clean way. Uh, it's just very annoying. Hmm. Because basically what you want is um, you think about a square and the square um, and like like not 
when you're trying to think about the square numbers, right? You think about, okay, one, and then you have four, and then nine, and so forth. The one, you know, you have one, and then you, you draw out the two, three, four, and then now you do five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then next it's gonna be 10, 11, 12, 12, but then here it goes out, out of bounds. So it's a little bit awkward. Because let's say we do okay. Let's let's say uh, let me draw it out visually a little bit. So let's say one we do one two three four, and then how do we do the five six seven eight? Well, we do five six uh, seven eight nine, and then after that it's going to be ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Um, I mean maybe that's just a way to do it. Maybe I need to disconnect the way that I'm putting it and also just doing this so it's going to be um that means that we're going to start with okay let's let's rewrite part of this we're going to start we're thinking about it by squares so then here this is going to be one and then now we want to go um left so then we want to draw the the border or like one layer at a time and then now next one is going to be yeah uh we're going to go left left oh sorry we want to go right i keep saying left but we want to go right one then we want to go down le left and then we're going to go left one and then up right okay so yeah so then here we go well count is less than total right um we want to go um let's say current is equal to zero. This is the direction. Though I don't even know that I want to do it this way. So basically, here we want to go go left, left one, then down and um. Oh, I keep saying left. Go right one, then down and left. And this is for L is equal to one. And I think we can do that. So we go right one. So we go right one. We this always happens. So yeah, x y is equal to going right. It's going to be x y plus one. So I guess we just do this really. And then, and then we go down l, and then left l. So for um, d, so we go right. So, and then we go down now. So for dx in range of l. Um, we want to go answer of x plus dx y uh, is equal to some count and count we in command assuming that this is within bounds um, Right. So then now we go to the right one, and then we do this, and then now we can um, go to the left L times. So for dy in range of L, um, oh, we have to move to x first. So now x we incremented by dx to go down. Um, is this right? So we're there, we want to do L1, and then L1, but uh, for this one, I think I have to be, yeah, I have to count this one as well, but that's okay. Uh, and this one, in theory, you could do it, but it has the same overlap because we already counted it. Um, I think so. I could be off by one here. Um, minus dy is greater than c. Um, so then ends of x y minus dy is equal to count count increment by one right and y minus dy okay and then now we have an hour layer then now we want to increment l by one and then we now want to go left one then up and then right okay so here we go left one so we decrement i hope this is right um 
Yeah, I think this is actually off by one because count starts at whatever. But uh, so yeah, let's just say this starts at two because we have one here, and then that should be okay. Yeah. Anyway, so we go left one here, and then now we try to go up L times again. Same logic. So I guess I can just copy and paste this. Really. Huh. Wait. This is going down. So. No, going down is okay, but here it should be subtract. And then now x, we subtract it by dx. Oh no, why am I subtracting by dx? This should be L. Uh, and then we do it for dy. And, and this is the same, except for now we're going up. I mean, it may be off by one, but the idea should be right. And then here we can return answer. Mm, let's give a spin. Uh, am I confident? Not really, but give a spin. Okay. Uh, apparently, I missed some stuff. Uh, oh, the... Hmm. So let's see, one, two, three, four, um, hmm, the second one is being wrong, it's a little sad too. Did I mess up? Oh, I forgot to increment L after this. So that's, that's at least one issue. It may not be the only issue, but let's give it a quick spin after that. Hmm. Does it go an infinite loop because it doesn't reach back? It's possible. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's at least test this case first. So, okay. So one, two. Uh, huh, still wrong. Oh, also, I'm outputting the wrong thing. Am I not? Oh, uh, we have to... Okay, we have to represent the coordinates. Okay, so we can actually do this in a different way. Um, I mean, we can still keep this, but then now we have uh, answer two is equal to an array. And here we can append uh, x plus dx, y, or something like this. I probably could have made this more copy and paste friendly, but. Oh, and this is answer two. Oops. Why is my indentation? Is that root? Why? Seems right. Is this one wrong? Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah. And then now we can reset this. Oh, and I forgot to, you know, set up the uh, x, y. That part is fine. Quit it, we're missing the last one still. Are we counting early? Because um, we do, well, I did want to do one, two, three, four, so I think we're just terminating early. Okay, but then now with the other case doesn't terminate or something, right? Or oh, just too slow? Hmm. Hopefully it does. That's good. We'll see how that goes. Hmm. Looks like it's time mowing because it doesn't take that long to do even like dirty squared or something. Um. Hmm. So left. Am I wrong here? So you finish the four, you go left one, up. Do 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 do. All right, let's uh. Let's see. If I'm right here, then after this loop, it should be zero five. Yeah, that's right. 
in, in what I'm trying to do. But as you can see that I'm duping some elements as well. So maybe that's, well, I mean, that's definitely not good. Um, but let's see, right? One, four, one, four, one, five, two, five, and then I repeat two, five. Why am I repeating two, five? Um, okay, one, four, one, five, two, five, and then we have to go left. So it's this one. Oh, yeah, because this is one. I think this is what I want to do, maybe. Hmm. Because the first element we, we didn't really increment. Well, we didn't change because this is part of that, maybe. Uh, okay. Well, now this is incredibly... Oh, no, because we break early, that's why. Just for testing. So, okay, so let's see. Okay, so this looks good. Uh, let's give it some mid after this. I'm too lazy to take out the, this code, but we'll see. Hopefully this is right. Okay, good. I'm to be honest, I was not 100% confident about this one. It's just that there's so many things to go wrong. But my idea is going to be uh, like you could show that the idea. We're just simulating it, and the idea is that when we go outside the 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 given box, we just keep going. Um, and you can kind of do it by um, you know for every loop of this, you can think that one of the layers is going to be gone, or one full loop that at least one or two of the layers will be gone. So. So that means that for all times C, it's going to go at most two times R and two times C or something like this, though they go in parallel. So it can't really be that. Um, but it's going to be all of R times C is the idea, uh, even though it looks really yucky. And um, and yeah, so that's, that means that, yeah, it's going to be R times C time and R times C space. And that's pretty much all I have. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, this is a messy one. It took a while, but ideas right a lot of copy and pasting maybe that i'm not happy about but yeah anyway stay good stay healthy to commend mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye